Our God is great, and He's greatly to be praised. God is great, He's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. God is great in my soul. I praise the Lord. God is great. He is greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. God is great in my soul. God, you are great. And God, you're greatly to be praised. I'm not talking about Santa Claus. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Ah, J-E-S-U-S. Jesus, you are the best. You are the God of holiness. You are the God of righteousness. Ah, A-B-C, one, two, three. Jesus Christ died for you and me on the cross of Calvary on the tree and don't have to take no LSD Jesus can give you the victory and set you free God is great he's greatly to be praised oh hallelujah thank you Jesus on this cloudy day Jesus is still the way oh Lord can I say it again on this cloudy day Jesus is still the way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Ah! St. John chapter 14, verse number 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is winter season. Jesus is still the reason why I praise him. Alamahayim Osata. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my brother. That's my good Holy Ghost Spanish minister friend. It is winter season. Jesus is still the reason why I praise him. On this cloudy day, Jesus is still the way. Oh, Lord, even in the rainy days, Jesus is still the way. Showers of blessings. Come on, tell somebody you to land. Showers of blessings. Oh, Lord. In the year 2024, God will bless you with more, and he shall restore. He in the year 2024. Ah, hallelujah. God gave me a message to encourage you today. God said, encourage my people. God, my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Hold my high and Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then God said, I will come in here from heaven. I will forgive their sins. And I will heal the land. God is healing you right now. When we turn from our wicked ways. Ah. God does a transformation on the inside. God gives us information. In his words. Basic instruction before leaving earth. Haven't you heard that Jesus is, is the word? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. St. John chapter 1 verse 1 verse 10 said in the world was made by no verse 10 said in the world was made by him yes I said it right verse 14 said and the word was made flesh and dwell among us he is the word have you heard that Jesus is the word he is a bread of life basic instruction before leaving earth according to second Timothy chapter number 3 verse 16 and verse 17 so Jesus gave us his word which is information when we receive, hear me closely y'all, when you, when you receive God's holy information in your heart, now God can do a transformation. Ah, uh, if any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creature. All things are passed away. Ah! All things are passed away. Second Corinthians chapter number five, verse number 17. Behold, all things are become new. So when you receive God's holy information, which is God's word, in your heart, now God does a transformation. You understand? That's why David said, Have thy words, have I hid in my heart, in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Now I spell the word heart before I go any further. Turn the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 15, verse 58. God gave me this for you. So now, before I go any further, spell the word heart. It's spelled H-E-A-R-T. Now, Jesus was talking to the church in the book of Revelations. He said, I have a few. He said, I got something against you. 
because thou hast left thy first love. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit had to say unto the church. Now when Jesus told the church in the book of Revelations, chapter number two, chapter number three, chapter number four, etc. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Hear. You hear God with your natural ear. Right? God give us natural ears. But not just only hear God with your natural ear, but hear God with your spiritual ear. Someone say spiritual ear. Your spiritual ear is your heart. Look what David said. Hide thy word, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. A lot of people only hear God and they receive God, which is good, but they only have the knowledge of God only in their mind. Look what the Bible said. They're ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of truth because the truth never sunk in their heart. It's only in the mind. It takes more than just being in the mind. Yes, have the heaven of salvation. Yes, have it in your mind, but let it sink in your spirit so it can sink in your heart. Oh, you understand. Because see, what's in your heart determines what's in your spirit. Oh, Lord. Preach, Holy Ghost. What's in your spirit determines what's in your attitude. It affects your attitude. Your attitude affects your actions and your personality. And actions speak louder than words. So it starts with the heart. God judges the heart. That's what the Bible declares. In Jeremiah chapter number 17. Go to verse number 9. He said, the heart is desperately wicked. And it's deceitful above all, all, all things. Who can know it? Whoa, hallelujah. I, the Lord God, know it's the heart. So when you hear God with the natural ear, hear God with the spiritual ear. Your spiritual ear is your heart. Hear God with your heart. Not just only with your mind. When you receive God's word in your mind, let it sink in your spirit so it can get in your heart. Now you can bear fruits. You understand? Makes sense. He said, I chose you to bear fruits. What's the first fruit of the spirit? Love. Love is an action word. Love is, love is an action word. It's a verb. Love is a verb. A noun is a person, place, I think. And an adjective describes a noun. But verb is action. Love is a verb. When you say that you love your wife and your husband, you don't cheat on your wife or your husband. Because marriage is about being faithful. Same thing with Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. When you say you love Jesus, Jesus said you love me. Yeshua HaMashiach, I am a believer. He said you love me, keep my commandments. That means action. Action speak louder than words. God is not coming back for talkers. God is coming back for walkers. If you're going to talk the talk, God wants us to walk the walk. That's how you can tell that you mean business. That's how you can tell when you love God, when you walk the walk, and not just talk the talk. Anybody can talk the talk, but God, I want to walk the walk so I can show you that I love you. No, I'm not perfect, but I'm striving for perfection. That's why I must have God's word in my heart so I can bear fruits. The first fruit of the Spirit is love. Jesus said by this, all men may know, oh, oh. he will know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another. The book of Galatians chapter number 5 verse 22 talks about the fruits of the Spirit. Get it in the heart. Come on, tell somebody. And you to that. Get it in your heart. Now, spell the word heart. It's spelled H. E A R T. Take the T off at the end. You got to hear. The book Jesus said, He that has an ear to hear, let him what? Hear. So the word hear is in the word heart. Now, take the H off heart and the, from the beginning of the word. Take the T off at the middle. I mean, at the end. You got ear. So the word ear is in the word heart. So God wants us to hear with a spiritual ear. Why well, I like that. Tell somebody, God wants us to hear with a spiritual ear. When God speaks, I receive everything God says. 
Why? Because there's blessings. Blessings. He in the year 2024, God will bless you with more. Woo! God bless the young people. So when they say thank God, so tell God thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Amen, brothers. Woo! Say it one more time, y'all. Say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All right now. Hallelujah. Look at young people praising the Lord. I like that. Woo! Look at young people praising God like that. God is God bless you. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Thank you. Look at how God using the young people. Ain't that wonderful? You see God using the young people. Woo! Hallelujah. They are future. God is raising up this generation. He said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. God is raising up young people. He says, his sons and daughters shall prophesy and not prophesy. Oh, oh. Not prophesy, but prophesy. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. And the old men shall dream dreams. And all my handmaids, I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Read the book of Acts chapter number 2. When the apostle Peter was quoting what the prophet Joel has prophesied and not prophesied. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year. Woo! Holy Ghost New Year. Happy New Year. Holy Ghost New Year. In the year 2024, God shall restore. Let's go back to the word heart. She so got the word ear in the word heart and the word ear in the word heart. So God wouldn't say here with a spiritual ear. Ah! Come on. You see that? Now, rearrange the word, rearrange the word heart. You got earth. Oh. You caught that? The word earth is in the word heart. A. E A R T H. So that connects with what the Bible means basic instruction before leaving earth. Why do God want His word in our heart? So that we can be do, produce fruits. God gave me a message to encourage you today. Because somebody needs to be encouraged. Somebody been depressed, but God can give you rest. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Woo! Hallelujah. Getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Oh, Lord. Get it in your heart. Ah, I feel Jesus. My message today. Revival in Babylon. God going to send a Holy Ghost revival in Babylon. Oh, come on. I'm going to sing a song. Even in Babylon. Now we're going to talk about Babylon in just a couple of minutes. Because first of all, Babylon is not a good place. But before you go any further, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I feel God's holy presence right now. I can see Jesus right now in the spirit. White hair. Hair. White as snow. Hair like wool. Hallelujah. Eyes as flame of fire. Feet like fine brass. Voice is as many waters. Revelation chapter number one. Go to verse 13 and verse 14. Now go to, to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse 58. Look what the Bible says. This is the scripture that God gave me for you. Therefore, my brethren, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For he know that your labor is not in vain. Oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. I feel like preaching. That's for somebody. He said your labor is not in vain. Let's go to the New International Version. I'm just reading the King's Version right now. But let's go into the New International Version. Therefore... My dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. That's what I mean by steadfast. Steadfast means to stand firm. Hallelujah. Take a stand and God will hold you by your hand. You're going to make it. When you get on God's side, he'll get on your side. He's a lawyer ah, in a courtroom. He's a doctor in a sick room. When you get on God's side, ah, oh, after the Holy Ghost, he'll get on your side. Therefore, 
my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, which means stand fast. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor is not in vain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is with you even when you get lonely. God is with you when you get lonely. He said, I will never leave you. Ha, I never forsake you. A lot of us have left God. But say, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Thank you, Jesus. Not just only when I get in trouble. I want to stay with you. After I get back with you. Stand fast. In the liberty. Where we Christ had made you free. Ah, uh, Galatians chapter number 5 verse 1. God just giving us instruction right now. And be not entangled again. In the yoke of bondage. Stay steadfast. Why did the Lord say steadfast? Stand upon the rock. Which is Jesus Christ. Jesus said upon this rock. Hold on my high and most I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. Stand firm in the midst of Babylon. Stand firm when the storms are raging. Stand firm. Turn to the book of Matthews, chapter number 14, verse 22. It talks about, hallelujah, when Jesus was walking on water. Oh, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I like that miracle that Jesus did. Jesus was walking on water. Everything, every miracle that Jesus did had a symbolic meaning. A miracle, first of all, is something that's supernatural. Something that's hard for scientists to explain. God works miracles. A supernatural God works supernatural miracles. Anything that God did in the Bible was miracles. He divided the Red Sea. He spoke the world into existence. He said, let there be light. And there was light. He spoke the world into existence. Everything that God did was supernatural. Because God could do anything. God can take what seems impossible and make it the possible. When God came wrapped up as Jesus of Nazareth. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. St. John chapter 1 verse 1 verse 10 said, And the world was made by Him who made the world God. Hallelujah. Verse 14 said, And the world was made flesh. Everything that Yahshua HaMashiach did, He worked miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe God can make cancer disappear out of your body. I believe God can make arthritis disappear out of your body. Jesus arose. Jesus arose Lazarus from the dead. Oh Lord, oh, I feel Jesus. He arose Lazarus from the dead. I did. He been dead for four days. He brought Lazarus back to life. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says, he that was dead came forth. Bound in grave closes. Jesus said, Loose us and let him go. Oh, loose us. I hear the Lord say, God is going to loose us from sickness and arthritis and cancer and depression. God going to tell the devil to loose you from slavery. No more slavery. No more chains. You're going to get to the promised land. Loose us, loose Everything that Jesus did in the Bible was miracles. When he arose from the dead, that was a miracle. He's supernatural. What did you get in that picture of Ireland? We're living in Babylon. Modern day Babylon. Now first of all, what is Babylon? It's not a good place. Babylon was a place that was originated by King Nimrod, who started idol worship. God told Israel, thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not worship any graven images. God shall be jealous, God. Oh, 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 Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. But Israel, 
was worshiping false gods. Nimrod came to the seat of Ham. It was said that Ham was a black man, king of Babylon. But God was not pleased with King Nimrod. He built the tower of Babel to disrespect God, to reach heaven. God brought down the tower of Babel, of Babel and confused the tongues. We're living in the matter. We're living in the modern-day Babylon, where men wants to be women. Not every man. We got some real men. We're living in days where women wants to be men. We're living in days where men wants to be drag queens. No, 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 no. God did not ordain no man to be no drag queen. Your wife is supposed to be the queen, not your husband. Come on. This ain't no hate speech. This is truth speech. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 28, no, 22, verse 6, that a man is not supposed to wear anything that's pertaining to a woman. And a woman is not supposed to wear anything that's pertaining to a man. Living in modern day Babylon, where the world is getting worse. These are perilous times. Was it talks about in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter number 3, starting verse 1? It said, Perilous times shall come. It's here now. When men shall be lovers of themselves, boasters and blasphemers, and disobedient to parents. I was watching the Dr. Phil show. You know, God has put special people in the world happy new year holy ghost new year i got a word for y'all here in the year 2024 god gonna bless y'all with more ah, hallelujah have a good day amen my sisters and brothers god bless y'all today god shall restore here in the year 2024 Woo! amen you got my prayers hallelujah amen thank you jesus Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here in the year 2024, God will bless you with more and give you the Holy Ghost. God want to save you. God can set you free from smoking. Now you can stop choking. Well, now you can have a testimony and say, look where the Lord has brought you from. He can save you. I was watching the Dr. Phil show. God put special people in the world like doctors. I know there are a lot of atheists who don't believe in God. Well, sometimes I don't understand. Can you say, Lord, if God is so real, why do he let bad things happen in the world? You say, if God is so real, why don't he stop the rape that's going on in the world? You say, if God is so real, why did he allow children to be kidnapped and sex trafficked? And maybe that's why you don't believe in God. I can understand your point. There's times we all felt that way, many times. Even Habakkuk felt that way. He said, God, why do you allow the wicked to be more blessed than the righteous? But I heard David said, I once was young, but now I'm old. But I never, 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 I never, never seen the righteous forsaken. Now his seed begging for bread. We can live a righteous life. God will not forsake it. You may feel lonely and depressed, but Jesus always show up and give you rest. Just believe. I know it's hard. I know you're going through a struggle, but God says, just believe. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. I felt God right there. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. God put special people in the world like doctors to work miracles. Lawyers and doctors. Not everybody is real. But God got special people in the world like ministers and evangelists and like you that God works his power through. I was watching the Dr. Phil show and there was a young man on the Dr. Phil show. 
A little boy, me and my wife, was watching this all yesterday. A little boy was coming against his mother. His mother was afraid of him, afraid of her own child. He was watching all these violent video games. Let me tell you why the crime is going on in the world. Many of your children are playing with Grand Theft Auto. Hear me closely. Playing with violent video games and Dungeons and Dragons and Xbox. And got these demonic video games. Throw away the violent video games. Hallelujah. Many of your children are playing with the wrong video games. Grand Theft Auto teaches children how to kill. That's the wrong video game. Get out cheeks this day. Someone said cheeks only ghost. The little child, he lost his father who was abusing his own mother. His mother was buying her son all these violent video games. Why? That was a dumb move. That didn't make no sense. That's not common sense. Now she wonder why her son was so violent. Why her son was disrespecting her. And many of you are in the same situation. Why her son was so rebellious against her. Bad enough, he had no father figure. But she was buying him all these x and Grand Theft Auto. Wrong video game was violent. So the more he kept watching these violent video games and playing with violent video games, he became violent. A lot of these video games are teaching children how to use guns and kill. Now you wonder why there's so much gun violence in the world. Somebody may say, well, we can't blame on it, blame it on that. Well, that's a seed that's been planted. Bad enough the movies are bad. Bad enough the movies have became violent. Or can I preach the truth? Someone say preach all they ghost. To try to stop this gun violence. Ah, the schools need Jesus. Bad enough the movies are violent. And America have the audacity. They say, oh, we shouldn't have gun violence. Yes, I agree. There should not be no gun violence. But yet, you're trying to make around and support violent movies in Hollywood. Hollywood have became demonic. Hollywood is satanic because it's being run by devil worshipers who have made a pact with the devil. Can I preach the truth here? They signed a contract with the devil. Even some of your favorite Hollywood stars, even some of your favorite hip hop stars have made a contract with the devil. Even in heavy metal, I lie my Satanists who don't love Jesus. They're demons, even in the music. When Ozzy Osbourne, years ago, ate a bat's head, back in the 1970s, there were demons in the music. Scary. Thousands of young people committed suicide after they heard Ozzy Osbourne music because it was satanic. The devil come to kill. He don't come to save you. He wants to kill you. Jesus said the thief cometh not, ha, but the steal, ha, kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. This is Babylon. Time to have a revival in Babylon. Our children need the Holy Ghost. Our schools need a revival. I talk about a Holy Ghost revival. Hallelujah. The little boy was playing with Xbox, watching Grand Theft Auto. Even the music had became violent. Now you wonder why our young people are so violent. They hear violent rap music. I play bass guitar. I'm in the music world myself. My record is coming out this year. I know about the music world. The rap music have became too violent. Turn on some good old Holy Ghost gospel music that talks about Jesus. Oh, I feel Jesus. Ain't that right? Tell somebody the king is coming. Ah, soon and very soon. We are going. All right now. You sing it all right. We are going. To see the king. You're, you're signing mighty good, brother. God bless you. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. I want to see the king in peace. Not in judgment and go to hell. I want to be with the king, not just see the king. I want to be with the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the greatest of them all. Hallelujah. Little boy was watching those violent video games. A lot of young people around the world hear a lot of this violent rap music and demonic music. That's a seed plant. It hypnotizes our young people to want to live in Babylon and to be violent. Come on. But time to tell somebody. It's time to stop the crying and say, Jesus, I want you to be mine. Come on, repeat that. Repeat the words with me. It's time to stop the crying and say, Jesus, I want you to be mine. Oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. Oh, I feel Jesus right now. Let us all unite. And let us not fight and let's get with Jesus Christ and let us all unite and let us not fight but it's time to have revival in Babylon so God can get rid of Babylon come on you need the Holy Ghost so God can turn these men to being drag queens and to being and to serving the king of kings and not be a drag queen Hallelujah, because a lot of you got molested. A lot of you been sexually abused. God loves you, but he doesn't love the sin like God loves me. He loves those of us who are straight, but he doesn't like where we hate. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Oh, happy to see you, brother. God going to bless you today. You are too blessed to be stressed. Oh, 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 oh. hallelujah. Time to have Holy Ghost service in the midst of Babylon. It's time to sing a Holy Ghost song in the midst of Babylon. He said, stand fast. Oh, hallelujah. Stay steadfast. Stay steadfast. Oh, that's why. Why I talked about when Jesus walked on water. What that represent? That you can walk on your waters. Because water represents your trials and tribulation. Water represents all the problems that you're going through in your life. So when Jesus walked on water, what it means, you can walk on your waters. Look what Jesus said. Whoa, I feel like preaching. We get ready to have a Holy Ghost revival just in a couple of seconds. Huh. Jesus said in the book of St. Luke, chapter number 10, verse number 18. Go to verse number 19, rather. He said, Behold, I give you power. I'm going to change key right now. To tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. And all over the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. But don't rejoice. Because spirits are subject unto you. But rejoice. Because your name is written in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, tread, which is spelled T-R-E-A-D. Tread means to walk on. God gave you power to walk on the devil. God gave you power to walk on the serpents and the scorpions because you got the Holy Ghost. Don't get to take no drug overdose. Jesus said, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, 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 ha, ha, you shall have power. Acts chapter 1, verse number 8. The Greek word for power is dunamis. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came like a mighty rushing wind. Suddenly, there came a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. And it filled the house where they were sitting. It shut upon each of them and it was all filled huh, with the Holy Ghost that began to speak with cloven tongues and other tongues huh, as the Spirit of God have gave their utterance now you got the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is Jesus 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 I feel Jesus 
when you got Jesus on the inside. Greater, greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. Now you got power to tread and walk on that creek. Hallelujah. I preached a message a long time ago in Harlem where I was born at in a church revival. My message was put that creek under your feet. Put the devil under your feet. Don't let nobody abuse you. Drop that zero and get with the hero. And the hero is Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. He prays and guarded up in the van. Hallelujah. Look at the verse. Hallelujah. I feel God in the place. There's a Bible starting right now, y'all. There's a Bible starting right now, y'all. First Corinthians, chapter number 58. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. It said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. Steadfast means don't move. Be firm. Take a stand. No matter what you're going through, he in Babylon. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Don't be discouraged. For ye you know that your labor is not in vain. It's not in vain that you're serving Jesus. It's not in vain that you are a saint who used to be a hate, but now you a saint. It's not in vain that you're walking by yourself. Jesus is with you. It's not in vain that folk has backbody on you. God will raise you above your enemies. It's not in vain. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, it's not in vain. I know we surrounded by people who are living in modern day Babylon. She like the wicked is getting more blessed than the righteous. By her David said in the book of Psalms, chapter 37, fret not thyself. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be envious of the workers of iniquity. But soon they shall be cut down. Oh Lord, don't worry. Don't worry. The reason why they're getting blessed, because they made a pact with the devil. They're serving Baphomet. I'm serving Jesus, Yeshua, I'm a seer, Yeshua. Keep your name for Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Y-E-S-H-U-A, which comes from the name Joshua, which means God is our salvation. I'm not serving Baphomet. Baphomet is a demon who looks like a goat. It's a devil. A lie my servant, Baphomet. And the devil is giving fame, giving him fame and function and riches. But don't be envious of them. God shall will bless you. You are my people. You are holy generation. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 9. So I told you to be a holy generation, a royal priesthood. You don't got to wear color purple. To be royal, you're already royal because you love Jesus. Hallelujah. You're already royal because you're chosen by God. Hallelujah. You are royal. Tell somebody you're royal. You're special. I know you've been a black sheep, but you're royal. I know you've been sexually abused, but it's not your fault. You are still royal. Hallelujah. Because you're chosen. We are royal priesthood. my highest A holy generation. God said, be holy. For I am holy. Oh, Lord. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 44 and verse 45. Also said in the book of First Peter chapter 1, verse 16. It applies to the church, Aglesia. It's not in vain. Don't be discouraged. It's not in vain. We're living in modern day Babylon. Bible, holy. 
I believe God going to send a Holy Ghost revival here in my own day Babylon. There was a lesbian who got the Holy Ghost two days ago here in my service. God is saving the homosexuals. God is giving them the Holy Ghost and taking away the homo ghost and replace it with, a ho with the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Now they no longer want to be lovers. Now they want to be brothers. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is saving lesbians. Now they no longer want to act like sisters. I'd rather mistress. Now they want to both be sisters. Now they can say, look where the Lord has brought us from. Thank you, Jesus. Even in modern day Babylon, God still got all power. God can save you. God can change you. I see a Holy Ghost revival starting in the streets all around the world. You got the power. What America needs is a Holy Ghost revival. What, what the world needs is a Holy Ghost revival. What Russia needs is a Holy Ghost revival. What America needs is a Holy Ghost revival and get rid of Babylon, get rid of Baphomet and get Jesus. Like Jesus said, I am the way, I am the way, the truth and the life. No, oh, oh, oh. man, come to the Father, but by me. After the Holy Ghost, don't gotta take no jug overdose. Here in modern day Babylon, you drag queens right now can make a change and serve the king of kings. Ah, get rid of Babylon and let's get into the church. Ah, be unmovable, steadfast, always abiding in the work of the Lord. Keep on preaching the gospel, preachers. Now don't be discouraged. Hallelujah. When you get discouraged, God will encourage you. You can make it. Ha, the devil put an X on you, but God put a check on you. Can I say it again? The devil X you out, but God check you back in. The devil try to say you are a zero, but God say you a hero. Hallelujah. He said, thanks be the God which gives us the victory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, man of God. You got the victory, man of God. I know you love Jesus. You got a new name, rich and died in glory. <laughs> oh, yes, it's yours. He's praising the Lord right now. Oh, Lord. Eh? And one day, God going to take us out of Babylon and be a new heaven and a new earth, the holy city, the streets of gold. We'll no longer be in Babylon. And one day, God will wrap you, you up out this world. Hallelujah. Read the book of Revelations, chapter number 21 and chapter number 22. It talks about the streets of gold. The Holy City. Ain't that wonderful? God got something better for you. I said, God got something better for you because He loves you. God got something better for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So when Jesus walked on water, what it means you can walk on your water, on your trials. Put that creep under your feet. Come on, y'all in YouTube land. Come on, stop on the devil with praises. When the praises go up, the blessings will come down. Stop on the devil with praises. Praise the Lord. Don't let nobody make you lose your joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Don't let nobody stress you out. Tell the devil you're a liar. I'm going to stay on fire. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Woo! Hallelujah. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. Jesus already loved you. He in modern day Babylon. One day God will destroy Babylon. Like he destroyed the world back in the days. I saw him again more. Hallelujah. And one day God will get you into heaven. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Will you repent from your sins? And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Obey Acts chapter 2, verse 38. And now you can make it to the pearly gates. Woo! And Romans chapter number 10, verse number 9. And verse number 10, repent from sin. Copy him so God can live within when you repent from sin. 
Hallelujah. Confess with your mouth huh, the Lord Jesus huh, and believe in your heart huh, that he was crucified. Huh, and God huh, has raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. He will heal you. Cast them demons out of your child. Don't let your child walk over you. The reason why they so violent, they're watching these violent video games. Grand Theft Auto, throw it away. Throw away, them violent, throw away those violent video games. Train your child and teach your child about God. Have church in your house. I like that. Let me say that again. Have church in your house. See, church starts in your house because when God is in your heart, you the church. When you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy. Someone say, holy, 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 and acceptable one to God. Holy. Follow peace with all men and holiness by which no man shall see the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews chapter number 12, verse number 14. You take control in your household and say, Babylon, you got to go. Say, Babylon, you will not have my child. Say, my child will not be a drag queen. Say, my child will not be a prostitute. Say, my son will not be a pimp. I claim them for Jesus. I'm taken back. What the devil stole from me. It belongs to me. Come on, put that creep under your feet. Tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. Huh? And all over the power of the enemy. And nothing somebody means hurts you. You got the power. Babylon. Sing a song in Babylon. Babylon got to go. God will take over. Because Jesus said, I'm Alpha. I'm Omega. I'm Omega. The beginning and the end, the first and the last. He said, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Revelations chapter number 22. Hallelujah. Babylon got to go. They say, Jesus, I'm going to go with Jesus. I'm going to go with Jesus. I will go in Jesus' name. That song by Hezekiah Walker. I will go in Jesus' name. I want to walk with Jesus, not Santa Claus, because Santa Claus means that Satan want to grip you in his claws. But Jesus came to deliver you out the devil's claws. I believe God is going to send the Holy Ghost revival. I believe God is going to heal the sick. I believe God is going to save drug addicts. I believe God can save a prostitute. I believe God. God bless you. Hallelujah. I know you love Jesus. God bless y'all. Happy New Year to y'all. In the year of 2024, God will restore and bless you with more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They're praising God here in the street. It's Holy Ghost revival here in New Jersey. You don't got to go to church to praise the Lord. You can praise God in Dunkin' Donuts. We can praise the Lord in McDonald's. We can praise the Lord on the basketball court. When you got Jesus, you can praise the Lord anywhere. Because God is everywhere at the same time. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. He's coming again. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. I want to see in me a... Get the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord. One day my dream is to preach an NBA. And see NBA stars getting the Holy Ghost. Imagine the Holy Ghost survival in the Super Bowl. To me, devil worshippers been doing performances at halftime and Super Bowl. Now it's time to have a, a Holy Ghost revival in Super Bowl and worship Super Jesus. I didn't say Superman. I say Super Super Jesus. Hallelujah. Sing a song in the midst of Babylon. Hallelujah. God is going to get rid of Babylon. Hallelujah. 
and God is going to bring blessings. God is going to raise you above your enemy. And God is so good, he'll make your enemy bless you. And they don't know why they're blessing you. Because you're blessed. He said, I make you the head and not the tail. Don't worry. God is fighting your battles, even on your job. You got enemies on your job. But God will move your enemies. Every pit they dig for you, they'll fall in their own pit. Hallelujah. For you keep God's holy commandment. He'll bless you in the midst of Babylon. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone say, thank God. In the midst of Babylon. God will get rid of Babylon. And now you can sing your song. Look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness and Jewish marvelous life. I was talking about baptism on yesterday. First Corinthians chapter number 12, verse 13. Said for by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. The one body refers to the church. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5 to verse 13. One Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to get baptized in the midst of Babylon. I believe God is going to save train trust vestites. Come in, you got abused by a man and a woman, but he still loves you. He doesn't love the sin. Now, there's those who don't want to repent. That's why it's a place called hell. God don't want to see nobody go to hell. But the book of Romans chapter number 1 verse 32 says that they that commit such things are worthy of death. Which means they're worthy of hell. That was their choice. They don't want to repent. God doesn't force the gospel on nobody. God sends preachers like me around the world to preach the gospel. How can they hear? Why well, the preacher? And how can he preach? Except he been sent. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's up to the person. There's those who don't want to repent. They want to serve sin. God still hates sin. The Lord told me this morning, he said, I hate sin. I know God is love, but he hates sin. The Bible said they're worthy of death. Because the Bible said that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is no hate speech. This is truth speech. This is love speech. God want to give us a chance to repent. Because the Bible declares in Hebrews chapter number 9, verse 27. It's appointed for men once to die. But the end, there's judgment. We all going to stand before God. When the body go back to the dust, and the dust it came, and the dust it returned. The soul, the soul is going somewhere. Oh, heaven or hell. We have enough hell here on earth. The hell beneath the earth is worse than hell here on earth. It talks about it in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 5, verse 14. The Bible says, hell has enlarged herself with our measures. And there's a place that's even worse than hell. It's called the lake of fire. Hell and the lake of fire is not the same. It talks about it in the book of Revelations, chapter number 20, verse 14. And John said, and I saw death and hell cast in the lake of fire. I don't plan to go to neither one of them. When you're living in modern day Babylon and following the world. When the Bible says love not the world and need the things that's in the world. I ask the love of the Father is not in you. Even Babylon has even crap even in the church. Even churches have became like Babylon. Churches, we got to repent. So I'm not coming back for a lukewarm church. I'm coming back for a holy people. A bride while well, spot our wrinkle. Have your robes white. I'm coming again. I'm not coming back for a lukewarm church. Jesus said, if you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. Let's come back to God. There's a revival taking place right now. Souls are getting the Holy Ghost even in the streets. Black eyes are coming open. God is working miracles. Hallelujah. Your child needs to be saved. 
when you take a stand, the parents got to live holy and from the church. You take control and say, Satan, you will not have my child. You will not have my soul. You will not have me. I belong to Jesus. Tell the devil, go back to hell. I'm here to tell. I'm not going to let you cause me to go to hell. I came too far to turn back now. I'm coming out of Babylon. I'm going to walk with Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God is touching you right now, right, right where you at. People are being delivered even right now. While I was preaching the word, people was being saved here in the streets. Hallelujah. Even in modern day Babylon, sing a Holy Ghost song. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They're praising God in the car. Oh, she praising God in the car. She felt the Holy Ghost. Ah, oh, hallelujah. They're speaking in tongues in the car. Revival already started. Revival already started. Revival already started. Look where he brought me from. Oh, look where he brought me from. Oh, he brought me out of darkness into his mother's light. Look where he brought me from. Look where he brought you from. Oh, when the saints go marching in come on sing a holy ghost song in the midst of babylon huh? come on sing a holy ghost song in the midst of babylon jesus sets you free i'm so glad jesus set me free i'm so glad jesus set me free i'm so glad jesus set me free singing glory hallelujah jesus set me free he led that me led that me hallelujah Come on, sing your song in the midst of Babylon. And I guarantee you, folk will give the Holy Ghost. Babylon got to go. Because now God is taking control. God, God is still in control. God is still in control over Babylon. Sing your Holy Ghost song. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this message. And all you two now be praying for you. Thanks for praying for me, my wife, Lady Priscilla Adams. Thanks for sending to my cash app. My cash app is Flame of Fire 8. Flame of Fire 8. I'm the Pastor Warren Adams. W A R R E N Adams A D A M S. Flame of Fire 8. I'm the Pastor Warren Adams. This is going through the ministry. Go for me. Holy and heavenly. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm so drunk in the Holy Ghost right now. I almost forgot my cash app. Hallelujah. You know how you get so drunk in the Holy Ghost? You can't hardly stand up. You got that new wine, which is the Holy Ghost. That's the kind of revival the world needs. Folk getting the Holy Ghost up in the White House. Folk getting the Holy Ghost up in Congress and come out and mess so God can bless. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What America needs is a Holy Ghost revival. What Russia and all around the world needs is a Holy Ghost survivor. Jesus is the answer for the world today. My goal for me is holy and, holy and heavenly, flame of fire, miracle, church ministry, street pastor, preacher Warren, and missionary, Lady Priscilla Adams. God bless you. Dogs all feel drunk in the Holy Ghost right now. Babylon got to go. Sing our song. Sing a Holy Ghost song in the midst of Babylon. Drag queens will get saved. Now they can serve the King of Kings and no longer be a drag queen. Hallelujah. God can save you because you might have got molested and raped and sexually abused. But Jesus can save you. He can save your children. Look at them two young men with praising God here in the street. Young people are getting the Holy Ghost. You and your children can get the Holy Ghost. This revival. Come on, get some my high tip. And you too, lad. Say it's revival time. Hallelujah. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Lord.